Hello and welcome to Angel Messages with Caroline Nettle. Today is the 3rd of November and these messages are going through till the 10th of November and I hope it finds you well. Today at 12.47pm at UK time there is a solar eclipse in Scorpio and it is a very powerful time right now because the Sun, the Moon, Saturn and Jupiter are all in alignment and um, it's really a time for looking deeply truthfully into yourself and um, you know getting rid of that which you don't need anymore and this this is going to go on for the next sort of six months now I'm not at all an astrologer but I just read a very good post by a friend of mine John Wordsworth so I'd like to mention him there okay and the cards we're getting for today is very significant from what I've just said I think you, Caressa, you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. And then we have Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. And then Francesca, very similar. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So let's look at Caressa first. Well, this has been a very big time. I'm talking to friends of mine who are all saying, oh, I seem to have sat down yesterday and gone for three hours through paperwork and, you know, got rid of things that I've been holding on to for years and so on. And I think that's very much been the energy right now. I know I've been um, doing some clearing out myself and I'm hearing it from, from all over the place. So being at the end of a cycle, it really is the time to completely now just get rid of that which you don't need in your life anymore. Um... I'm a bit of a one for holding on to, you know, car repairs that were done on a car that I don't own anymore and things like that. So this afternoon I'm going to sit down and, and literally go through all my paperwork because I think it feels like the right time to do it. Um, this could also be relating to your relationships I'm hearing. So taking a look at the, you know, the 10 people that you spend the most time with and do you feel energised and passionate when you leave them or do you feel drained and really happy that you've managed to get away and I think this is a really uh, important um, message around how you feel about yourself. If I'm continually surrounding myself with people that drain me, what do I actually think of myself? Do I value myself? Surely you'd much prefer to spend time with people that are upbeat and passionate and really inspire you to be a better you. So this feels like a very important cycle that's gone through and we're leaving it behind. And if there's anything that causes you upset when you're having to leave it behind, then call on your angels to comfort you and to guide you into your next step. Because always when um, the universe likes a vacuum, so if we make a space in our home, then there's room for new things to come in. If we make a space in our life, if, you know, if we get rid of an old partner that's not particularly good for us, that allows new people to come in um, and fill the space. The universe always likes it when we make um, an effort and sort of get rid of that which we no longer need because then it can bring us in the things that we do need. Happiness awaits you now. So there'll be joy for you once you have brought those new things to you. To make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. Well, I'm feeling here that this is very much about tuning into yourself and one of the things that we humans do is we give all our power to the tv or to other people or to um, society or whatever and we're so unused to listening to what we actually think and I think there's a change happening in this area I think I think we are starting more to listen to what we are and, and what we believe in and and who we want to be with and things like that but um very often we do what we think we ought to rather than what we think we want to or rather what we need to. So, for example, um, if I take myself, you know, I went to do angel readings in 2009. Um, I didn't take it very seriously. I thought it would be a nice holiday, if I'm really honest, and it changed my life. And now here I am doing angel readings and um, it's my path. My my family and uh, people, you know, that I know don't particularly agree with angel readings. And if I gave my power to them, I would allow them to influence me into what I think. But I just know deep down in my soul that this is what I should be doing. So regardless of whether or not I get approval from those around me, I'm doing angel readings. And this is what the message is to you. Which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? 
and and really sometimes when we step onto the spiritual path this is something that um you know the caveat to that would be even if others don't approve of what i'm doing if i absolutely know with every cell in my soul that um this is what i'm supposed to be doing i'll do it and the thing is that i found is as as i stepped into my power and into my strength other people came out who did who did approve and um yeah so sometimes we have to leave behind those that that are no longer on the same frequency as us and that can be tough actually on the spiritual journey but um yeah you just find that you just don't gel with them anymore there's this there's not you don't have the same interests anymore and you drift apart and then I found when that happened to me I just invited people like I was just saying when when I let go of those that weren't very healthy um good people kept started coming into my life who who really you know I love to discuss spirituality and um spiritual growth and you know, all sorts of things like that. So sometimes it, it can seem a little painful to let go, but actually what comes in afterwards is um, much better, in my opinion. Okay, so then Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Okay, so the big sentence here is negativity will block your progress. So one of the things that the ego does is it... Um, like I might have a thought, oh, I'll go and do this. And my, my ego will say, but you can't do that. And um, sometimes I have to really remind myself that my head lies to me and that my ego is always trying to keep me small. And sometimes I have to go ahead and do things regardless of what it's saying to me. We humans really struggle, I think, with, um, you know, negative, constant negative thoughts. And Francesca is saying here, you know, Ask me to help you to not think negative thoughts because really, the, you know, we really are being asked to step into our greatness now and to because the earth needs us and humanity needs us. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on that, you know, can be terrifying, really overwhelming and terrifying on the earth right now. But we are all being asked to step forward so that we can do our bit, whatever it was we agreed to do. So what is it that you desire right now? So really try and visualize what it is that that you want. Unless, of course, it's a brand new car. And then I'm not sure that this is what the reading's about. I think this is more about who do you want to be and, and how do you want to help the earth? And negativity will block your progress. So I always ask Joffael to come in and take my ego out of the way when I'm doing any kind of reading or work like that. So maybe that's something you can do. And just spend some time with yourself and, and ask the question, what is it that I actually want to do? And what is it that I think I came here to do? And of course, if you don't know the answer to that, then maybe that would be a very good topic to have an angel reading for. And if you'd be interested in that, then go to www.yourangelreadings.com. So um, it's quite an important time this week. And I feel, um, yeah, I feel that, take care of yourself and ask the angels to help you and um, really spend some time thinking about having got rid of the old what do I want the new to look like I think that's the way to go so I'll leave you with that send you lots of love and um, please leave a comment below the video if you've enjoyed it or if you've got any questions okay I'll speak to you next week have a good week bye bye